When we looked at the straight line, the first thing we did was we learned how to draw the straight line. Then after that we learned how to work out the straight line's equation once they gave us the graph. And to do that we used to, well we had to remember that y was equal to mx plus c. Then we looked at the parabola where the first thing we did was we learned how to draw the parabola. And then after that we learned how to determine the equation of the parabola. And we said that the general formula was y equals to ax squared plus q. So now we are at the point where we have learned how to draw an exponential graph, but we have not let you well that's a tongue twister. We have not yet learnt how to find the equation of an exponential graph. And so to do that we would need to know the general formula of an exponential, of which there are two types, okay? So we've commonly seen things like this where we have two to the power of x plus four. And so the things that can change are going to be the 2, because that can sometimes take on a different number, so we'll call that a for example. The x is always x, and then there's this part of here which is plus q. So that could be one form of uh, exponential. But then in one of our other videos on an exponential, we found something that was something like y equals to 2 times by 2 to the power of x plus q. Not q plus 3, for example. And so what are the different variables here? Well, we know that y and x are always going to stay the same. And so it's this over here that can change, this over here, and this over here. And so that can be on the, of the form y equals to a times by b to the power of x plus q. So a, b, and q can be different. And remember, in that one video that we watched, on the exponential graph, I think it was the video just before this one, we saw that this number in the front, all that it does is it enlarges the exponential graph. So if someone gives you the, if someone gives you an exponential graph like this, how would you know if it's enlarged or not? You won't. And so when they give you this question in a test, they'll either say, please determine the equation of this exponential graph, and then they'll say, in the form y equals to ax plus q, then you know it's that one, or they will use y equals to a times by b to the power of x plus q. So don't worry about that, you're not going to know which one it is, but they'll have to specify that in the question. And so what I want us to do in this question, because I've designed the question, I know which formula works, we're going to find this equation using ax plus q. And so the two letters that need to be found then are going to be a and q. Remember, y and x, they are always going to be y and x. So we said that q, that's always an easy one to find because that tells us if the graph has moved up or down. Well, how many units has this graph been moved up? Well, we know that a normal exponential goes something like this, okay? So this value here is usually something. Now it's over there, which we don't even know what it is. But we're not even going to look at that. What we're going to look at is the following. For a normal exponential, the asymptote line is usually on the x-axis like that. But look at where this asymptote line is. It's this dotted line over here. And that is y equals to 4. So it's been moved 4 units up. So that means that this whole graph has been moved 4 units up. And so straight away, we can find q's value as positive 4. So how many letters do we still need to find? Only one. And remember, I hope some of you at home can remember what to do now. When you only have one letter to find, then you should substitute. So you find any other point that's on your graph, and look at that, they've gone and conveniently given us a point, and you substitute that point into your equation. So 8 will take the place of y, and 2 will take the place of x, and then all that you need to do is solve. Oh, and in the beginning of this question, I was supposed to, and they'll do this in an exam, we we're supposed to say something like this, a must be bigger than zero. I'll explain that a little later. So now we're going to solve for a, and that's going to give us a squared, and then we're going to take this 4 over to the left, so it becomes 8 minus 4, which is 4. And so if you had to take the square root, technically you should get plus and minus 2. But now in the question, they've told us that a must be bigger than zero, so a must be positive. So minus two is just not gonna work, and so therefore, a must be equal to two. And so the final equation of this graph is gonna be y equals to two to the power of x plus 